Greetings and salutations on this beautiful Sunday. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm super excited to be taking a look at a wonderful video today. I saw the uh, thumbnail. I know we are going back to Russia for the Russian Championships 2021. It's going to be good. It's a Jack and Joe format. For those of you all who do not know what a Jack and Joe format is, it just simply means in swing dancing that a lead and a follower are going to get together and they're going to improvise. It's awesome. It's a historic format and I'm going to give you guys <laughs> I thought it was going to be a salsa beat, and I think everybody else thought that too. Ooh, the energy level looks high. I can see the egos swelling. People have something to say in this format. Here we go. Yeah, so this band's got a lot of horn sections, and uh, whoever gets the trumpet solo, whenever that trumpet plays, it's typically the person who wins. It's, it's not really fair, because that trumpet is really loud, and it just makes all of your moves just look so much more glamorous. But we'll see. We'll see how they, uh, they do this format. Here we go. First couple. Yes, nice and tight. The movements look good, controlled. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like when people use a tuck turn and do it differently. That's good. Yes. All right. Okay. All right, so this looks like round two. This is usually the round where a lot of people kick it in or they slack off a little bit. All right.
All right, good second round for that couple. Okay, here we go. Yes. All right, lots of craziness in this competition. Man, it looked like everybody had a really good time with this. Okay, guys, I gotta be upfront. This was a really crazy competition. I got the vibe that this may have taken place a little bit later in the evening. And you guys know what I know about uh, talking about in terms of like later in the evening after people have had some things to drink and they're kind of excited. But aside from that, I don't know if that was the case or not because there was one common denominator here that I have to criticize for all of the couples is that there was just a little bit too much crazy. I mean, not crazy is not bad. Like having a bunch of energy and throwing that into your dancing and using that as a way to get the audience engaged is not a bad thing at all. But when it's happening all the time throughout the competition, it kind of minimizes the power of what the dancer is trying to accomplish being crazy. So I gotta say, you know, you know, keeping that in consideration, that is kind of you know, shaped my view of this competition as a whole. Once one person gets crazy, then everybody else tries to up that person's craziness. And then by that time, you know, everybody's acting crazy and, and it, it just kind of loses the impact. So one of the couples that I really liked that I thought should have ended up being higher, really could have ended up being higher, is the, the first one I thought that was doing a little bit too much of the craziness. But the thing that I liked about them is that their technique was solid. Both of these couples were the, just this couple and the leader and the follower were excellent when it came to the technique. Yes, they did like four swing outs at the beginning. That's fine. I don't mind that. But the reality is, is I could see them doing the Lindy Hop technique. And that goes to this couple right here. He had like orange. She had black on. Look at those swing outs. Like it's beautiful. The follower can improvise. The leader's setting things up. And I think because the leader's acting a little too crazy, it takes away from the beauty of what they're doing so well together um, 
And that's unfortunate because for me, they had some really, really cool things, particularly at the ending of their set here. Um, cool move, it fit the music at the right time, but because there was so much going on earlier in their set, it really distracted from the overall impact. But I still, as a judge, have to recognize what they were actually doing because, hey, what if their style is crazy? Well, I can tell you this, it might be a cool style, but it does kind of undermine the fundamental nature of leading and following and making it clear uh, from the audience perspective that they are in control of the technique. And sometimes that's hard to uh, discern when dancers are going overboard trying to make it too crazy. So that's all I got to say about the craziness because that couple did it the most for me. But I loved everything that they were doing. I, I really liked the fact that they didn't do too many crazy movements uh, with the crazy attitude behind it. They just did swing outs, but the swing outs were so good. I could, I could appreciate uh, the lines. I could appreciate the syncopations with that. And uh, overall, I have to recognize them as a third place winner in my book. You guys know me. I like control, timing, and creativity. Those are the three things I look for. And whoever has all three of those, the closest, typically is the winner. So let me get to my second place person. This was the couple. She had a white shirt on. He had a hat with the beard. Here they are here. What I love about them, they have a little bit more control than the last couple. Nailing swing outs. The leader is a little bit more quiet than the followers. So you can really appreciate the diversity of their personalities. I don't see them competing against each other. I will say the timing, like these movements like this, really get the audience engaged because they're unexpected and you don't really uh, see a lot of dancers doing that in uh, competitions where they just simply just throw in something that hits the timing deliberately to get the audience involved. For me, that's, that's what I enjoy most about timing is when the dancer can elevate the music to a higher level and because of that, there is a subsequent response from the audience that really projects the emotion that they felt from hearing something and seeing something, not just seeing something cool done anywhere in the music. So that was my second place couple. I really liked them. I, I think they were a bit more calm than the third place couple. Like I said, guys, this whole competition had the same problem. Everybody could dance. Um, their technique was at different levels, but the choice of the energy level was a bit wild for everyone now the couple that did it the least amount and the couple that i appreciate the most is this couple here she had like a blue dress on uh he had a black jacket on as you can see again coming out with strong swing outs but here's what really got my attention i see the leader giving room i don't like to use the word room because that's what the the leader's job is to do is to set things up for the follower but I can see the follow through. I can see the setup and then I can clearly see the follower do what is intended to be set up, which is share the energy in that direction. And so it was so beautiful to see them switch from doing basic swing outs to nice organized shared energy tuck turns. And then they jumped right into some Charleston and it wasn't too wild. They, they, that's, that couple had the best control. Um, they had, an okay timing. I will say everybody's timing was okay, but overall they were closest to fulfilling all three of those things that I look at in a Jack and Jill format competition. So this was kind of a mixed bag for me. I, I'm a little disappointed. I wish, I wish the dancers were, were a little bit more tame and use their arsenal in a more strategic way to get me more engaged emotionally because I, I, th I just thought it was a bit more distracting to see everybody just kind of go crazy all the time. So what do you guys think? Who do you think was the best couple for you in this competition? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't started dancing and you want to get into swing dancing, check out my course below. I've got a, a foundation to help you master swing dancing quickly. And a lot of us teachers have different approaches to swing dancing, but not a whole lot of people talk about what that foundational thing is that allows everyone to have different styles. That's what I talk about so that you can master swing dancing at your own pace without necessarily always having to have a teacher. So check that out. If you guys want to get some inspiration and some creativity, check out my original work that I've done and contributed to Lindy Hop over the last 10 years. I've got over 25 courses you can check out for free right below. So with that being said, let me know what you guys thought about this competition in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class 
online. Take